Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. It's cold this morning isn't it? Hey, It's proper cold. Uh, I'm uh, fucking freezing man, look at temperature. Jesus, well, it's temperature bit now. Minus two. Well, cold morning, isn't it? I'm, uh, I'm going to do a video this morning on the way into office, and I'm going to call it. Success. What success means. Now, I'm going to speak mainly about Josh Whale because I don't like to go on about this, but you know, I pushed to sign Josh for for ages with Dennis, but we couldn't budge him, could we? It will we. Uh, it will we. Uh, it will be managed by uh, SB Promotions, you know, but they don't really go by, they've got no telly have they, they don't go by, uh, they're, they're like a fish out of water aren't they at, at British level, they don't really, they're out of the depth aren't they, right, so, and I knew that you've got to be patient in boxing, you can't be tapping fighters up, you've got to be patient. So, shout out British Boxing Motor Control, I hope you're watching. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, British Boxing Motor Control, eh? What are you going to do? Do nothing. Go do nothing. Except stick your hand out, that's all you've ever done in your life. Stick your hand out. But, getting back to uh, Josh Whale's situation. What it means is, Josh Whale performing like he's performing gives me a bit of credibility because I do act uh, a bit eccentric at times, don't I? So it gives me a bit of credibility. And uh, I wonder if I've got it on cold. Jesus. So, better. Uh, gives me a bit of credibility, and what it means is, when you're successful like Josh, you're free weight champion now, isn't it? Across the board. Uh, when you're a free weight champion, you walk like a champion, don't you? He's starting to walk like a champion now, and he's, he's added to his game. And you get confidence from that, being a champion. I'm so proud of Josh. It's unbelievable. Because other people were all saying he couldn't do it, weren't they? And he's finished and things like that. Josh is not finished, he's only just starting. But, the thing with Josh Whale is, he's never been A-side, has he? He's never been A-side, only Jenkinson fight when he was with yours and these last three fights he's never been the A side and why not? Big ticket seller, massive ticket seller, massive, huge. Uh, what it means is more than anything to me personally because it makes me look makes me look fantastic, doesn't it? Oh my god people that were like oh, he's got 11 losses and he don't really need to be moving up two weights from bantam to feather he needs to go back to feather because he's had a fight at super bantam and so sorry at one weight he needs to go back to bantam not go up to feather I said look we don't with Josh every day are we let's let them make that decision you know they've got his brother Dempsey's a nutrition, they got degrees and all that and his dad knows boxing and all that kind of thing so it's all worked out brilliant and it's that's the good 
the good bits of it. And I get by him here, this is looking tight. Ooh. But the downside of it is, I'm gonna get abused on on social media by five or six accounts, but they're all answering each other within seconds, we noticed. Now that to me, so experts tell me, it's probably one person. But, it hurts this particular person that much that, well, it kind of like makes my day and I didn't realise that until somebody told me yesterday. <laughs> if we were doing crap with Josh Whale and my channel weren't doing so good, nobody would really give a damn, would they? Would anybody really give a damn about old big porks? Hey mate, I'm just coming through my clubbing now, are you there? Yeah, hurry up mate, because I've got to get back up to Barnsley. Alright, alright. Yeah, right, cheers. Hey, how are you doing? So... I feel rough this morning. Snivels and that, I'm not allowed to have snivels, I'm like, whoa! Way too fast here, Russell. And this car's fast! Last night. I hit the light switch, I jumped in bed, the light switch was still on. <laughs> uh, American car there, Camaro. Uh, yeah, so basically, if we weren't doing very good, uh, nobody would care, would they really? Nobody would care. But the fact that... Did you watch the live chat? I watched the live chat yesterday for the first two videos. And Dennis, obviously... What, we're going to come on and chat with you all. And did you see the comments that came on? Did you see that? Whatever they call it, live chat or... People keep calling it live chat, whatever it's called, where you leave a comment section. The video won't live, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort it all out. I'm going into a meeting now, a quick meeting. And I'm going to make arrangements for somebody from Limitless, Limitless to come and see me. Because Matt's man, or Bird, or whoever will come in, has not come. And if you want out with computers, or you want showing, you've got to pay. In all walks of life, all you people are starting out in your lives. If you want anything done, you've got to pay. Because if you pay, you get the job done, don't you? Don't listen to people that say, yeah, I've got a pal in trade and all that. Yeah, everybody's got a pal in some sort of trade, haven't they? But ask them to come and actually do it. So, that's my opinion on that. Straight jumbo. You want it? You've got to pay. It's as simple as that. Now, someone got warm, Matt. Getting back to Josh Whale, he's an happier person, loads happier. He's a mordo, stronger, faster, quicker than the speeding bullet. He's got longevity. His family have all gone to Tenerife. They're all happy. It's been a, it's been a, great, fa a great finish for him, 2020. And they're in driving seat now. And one thing we said in April, I had a sit down with Mick and Dennis. And Dennis said, right, there's no room for error. When you've got a kid, you were all right. When you've got a kid with 11 losses, technically it could easily be five or six, couldn't it? It could be 30. Josh Whale could be 38 and 5 or 37 and 6. Quite easily. Quite easily. Right? But there's no room for error with a kid with 11 losses. No room for error. And plus, the, why should there be errors anyway? If everybody's professional and on time and does the job. You know what I mean? And by doing your job when you're working with boxers, this is how I look at it. You gotta give them good PR, which means you sell more tickets. 
going to perform well, which means TV like them, which means the pundits will do the. Go on then. Okay, that were close. Which means the pundits like them and like the style. Everybody's got to do the job, but. The main thing is, the training team and the fighter do their job and they leave the rest to everybody else and it all comes together now. If you work as a team and nobody's got no big egos and nobody's in it for their own agendas, it's amazing what you can do if you work hard. And like I said, you, might, you may see me put a lot more effort in with Josh than I do with some of Dennis and other fighters because I'm part of Josh's team, aren't I? Mick Wales told me, look, you're part of our team. And it's nice that, it's nice that. I do help all other lads out in Dennis's stable with PR and things and bits of running about, but with Josh it's a bit more, it's a bit more tighter. It's, uh, I want him to do well. And um, like I said, they're not, they're not them sort of people that were to after parties and go out boozing and that. They just go back to the job, then they disappear. They come, they ice people, and then disappear, that's it. And I think that's brilliant. I think it's really good and I'm so proud of myself for, for chipping away. And there's a few other things in Pipeline here, and like I said, it just makes me look good, doesn't it, with Josh doing well. It makes me look brilliant, doesn't it? I'm playing my own trumpet today, aren't I? Dennis has bought me a track so I've put tracky top on today. I'll show you in a minute. I get to traffic lights. I forgot to put bottoms on, I put the wrong colour on, haven't I? I've never been good at matching stuff. I'm hardly a uh, man at CNA, am I? Or uh, or is it Stone Island? I can't afford Stone Island. Speaking of Stone Island, good morning Steffi, how are you doing? Hashtag levels, hashtag doing bits. <laughs> hey? Ooh. Big surprises for you, Steffi, in the next few weeks. Ooh. It's all looking good. It's all looking fantastic. And you know what? Success breeds success. Hey? Starting to do like a little bit of a fast walking in the morning now. Only because it's cold weather, isn't it? But feeling good. Shout out Chris Ogden, how are you doing Chris? Nice to see you at the boxing. Coming over to my table with your chick. Punching way above your weight. For a roofer from Barnsley. From Barnsley, roofer. Hope you're well Chris. But, yeah, so it's all good. It's all good positive stuff. Here I'll whip top out. I'll whip it out. I reckon. I reckon. Danny Sobson, Steve Crumb. We don't mess about, do we? Levels, innit, Steffi? Hashtag levels. We don't need Stone Island. We need. Uh, I don't know what this make is, it Gola? I don't know, it's one of them non-makers. Non <laughs> it's a no-namer. <laughs> like my trainers when I were in Comprehensive, no-namers. Like them, like them trousers I used to go to school in that were flares, I used to hover. Everybody had farrers, I had flares. And high tech trainers, I think, can't remember, like Patrick or something. It's not the trainer. It's the player, my father used to say to me. Yeah, I know, Dad. I like that. I don't have to wear them, do I, ma'am? You do, they're from Edlow Market. But, uh, it's all good. People keep emailing me saying, like, oh, I want to get you on your, your channel. Can you get time moved on to your office? Uh, oh. Mates with Carl Frotch on and he always digs Carl out, so I don't think it would down too well at all, but I don't watch his stuff. I have seen bits people send me stuff. I've heard he does stand up, doesn't he? So I ain't got nothing against anybody. 
getting a living out at job and he does sell merchandise and doesn't he? Well good luck to him. Good luck to him. That's all I say. But I'm a bit of a long ranger, I like to do my own thing. I've heard he gets loads of views, tie and move, so good luck to him. He sticks it to that lot, doesn't he? So IFL and Macho man. I don't mind I don't mind Coogan Cassius but I think even he now has got to be embarrassed about what he's asking Eddie Hearn. I mean I can understand I understand what he said to me and Dennis in Bulgaria where you know he's not gonna get access is he if he if he don't play the game. If he's if he doesn't play the game he'd be no he'd be no good without access, wouldn't he? Do you know what I mean? What could he do without access? I mean, somebody pointed out, and I checked this out, and it's true, that Coogan has a core people of 19 people that he interviews all the time. These 19 people are always interviewed by him. It's the only problem in winter when you uh, when you're travelling. Everybody's wrapped up, aren't they? Well, it's, you can't see all so. Uh, but getting back to Coogan, he has a core or a core. He works with 19 people, doesn't he? He's not going to do amateur shows like me, is he? So I'm doing amateur shows in area now. So, because that's where you find the talent, isn't it, to sign? So I can recommend certain people then. Working with my mate Chester. Shout out Chester, MC. How are you doing, lad? Anybody needs any MC work? Get in touch with me, porkycorner at mail.com and I will get you in touch with Chester, who does Mick Wales shows, top bloke, did a massive favour for me the other day, massive, huge, and did a favour for me and Dennis and it has a knock on effect, what are you doing mate? So, but, but getting back to... What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing, mate, do you? But getting back to Josh Wales' story, fantastic story, fantastic person, proud to say he's a close friend of mine, proud to say I'm working with him. He's a typical boxer who just got manners, because 99% of the boxers have got manners, aren't they? They're all disciplined people. Now, let me say this, all boxers deserve respect. Now, until they start, behaving like Tony Bellew and then we have to pull him up on it don't we we have to pull him up on it then don't we and then they don't get no respect off me so so I am so it's amazing though isn't it how people were pushed a narrative when there's a pound note on offer I think so 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 that's that basically, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport, but remember this, Josh Wales only just getting started, so what I want all you people to do, who follow my channel now, I want you to subscribe to my Facebook account, uh, although I don't even know how many followers I've got, I don't know how to work it, I've got somebody coming to show me today. I also want you to subscribe to my channel today and press the like button and leave a nice comment. Now for those trolls out there, I want what I want you to do, and like I said, we know who you are. I want you to watch my watch this while you're in your gym and know this that we're only just starting with Josh Whale. And he's gonna be the first of many that cross the street. All right. <laughs> hashtag levels. Hashtag doing bits. Shout out to Innovation Allies, AJ Hobson, Bump Bump Bump, Kevin Hall, South Yorkshire Packaging Services, Rotherham, Bump Bump Bump. And shout out to Dennis in Finland, up a mountain learning to ski. I hope you're well, Den. Don't turn into the abominable snowman, or you might roll down early and it might be an avalanche. <laughs> So peace out. I hope you have a safe journey home, Den. All right. Oh, and by the way, all them people that ruined that last night with all them vile comments about me and my kid's mum and all them vile comments about Dennis and things like that. All you did 
what show the people around me what I have to put up with. All he did was show, show, show the people what I have to put up with and you know what? Our team now is stronger than ever now and people are now saying, do you know what? You're pretty thick skinned you Russell and I say, yeah I know what I have to put up with dealing with these lot but like I said it's onwards and upwards isn't it success breeds success so I think I said it once and I'll say it again hashtag levels doing bits Merry Christmas